Hey guys, Sam from Memphis Makes and Moose Mike. So welcome back to all our returners and hi to any newbies. It's so great to have you here with us today. Thank you for spending your precious time <laughs> with us. We do appreciate it. So as you can see, we are donning other Christmas jumpers that we own just for the occasion because we are going to be sharing Christmas card exchange part three. However, before we get into the Christmas card exchange, I just want to sneak in an FO of mine because this will be a Christmas present for my nan. And if I don't show you now, it will be wrapped up and gifted to her and you'll never see it. So I just thought I'd sneak it in before we get into the Christmas card goodness. So if you can remember, I was making my nan um, a hat and fingerless gloves from this yarn here which is the Fireplace Comfort by Yarn B at Hobby Lobby that was gifted to us in Happy Mail. Just a quick recap, this is 70% acrylic, 30% wool, medium four weight or Aran if you're in the UK, wash up to 30 degrees Celsius. Um, you can tumble, you can iron, you can't bleach, you can dry clean, but I would recommend that you hand wash and lay flat like you do with all your precious crochet or knit if you knit um, and it recommends a 4.5 millimeter knitting needles or 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and this is in the color smoky shadow it is a roving style yarn this one where it goes from thick to thin i used one complete ball and that is what is left of the second ball and out of the two balls i got my nan's hat and I used Fibre Spider's Alpine Stitch Hat Tutorial on YouTube. I will link his channel down in the description. And then for the fingerless gloves, they are Alpine Stitch as well. Oh, let's do that. Oops. Do that. And I can't remember what tutorial I used. Bear with, bear with. I have my phone here for such occasions as Mantha isn't prepared. <laughs> So bear with and I will find it for you. I think it's Jolie Knot, but I just want to make sure. Alpine Stitch Fingerless Gloves. And it is Jolie Knot's Crochet. I will link her channel down below. There is um, a tutorial for both left-handed crocheters and right-handed crocheters. So she accommodates cool. both. Um, very easy, very simple, very clear tutorial to follow. I would um, advise that you make these if you have the basic crochet knowledge though, because there are a couple of moments where she assumes you already know what stitches you're doing um, and you need kind of a bit of basic understanding of tutorials in themselves to be able to follow along. But I think the majority of you will be able to follow her tutorial. I found it pretty easy, but then I have been crocheting eight years, guys, so I might be a little bit bias in that opinion but it matches the hair absolutely perfectly so jolie knots and fiber spider so my nan has a gift set from two fabulous youtube creators and that is what the fingerless gloves look like when they're on so you can see that it's the alpine stitch for the body of the glove and then it is um in the back loop only for the ribbing single crochet and actually to make it you chain 11 go into the second one from the hook and single crochet all the way down so you've now got 10 stitches and then you do um and that's just normal single crochet and then every row after that is single crochet in the back loop only until you make it however wide you want it on your arm and then here you just skip stitches to make the hole and carry on around until the desired length. Now I worry that both the gloves and the hat are going to be massive on my dear old little nan. But at least I have a gift to wrap up and gift her. I have this remaining from the second ball and I actually have two further balls here. So if needs be I can remake them with a smaller hook because I used a five, five millimeter clover or more for the fingerless gloves as the tutorial recommended. And I used a six and a five clover or more for the hat. 
so the five was for the brim the six was for the body of the hat so if i have to take it back off her <laughs> and make it smaller then i will but at least she has something to open for christmas i did it guys i'm so chuffed with myself so that's the sneaky fo that should not have been got into our christmas card exchange but let me let you into a little secret you will probably be watching christmas content right up until the new year and maybe partially into the new year <laughs> because we think we still have some christmas cards to come and we still have some festive happy mails to show you as well plus there are a couple of other little festive things up our sleeves to come possibly over the weekend so stay tuned because you don't want to miss out anyway we're going to start with the christmas card exchange so yes i'm in my festive fake fair isle shop bought jumper this was not made just no and mike is his cheeky little elf self did you have your hood up i have put you it have up, put but it, it, up. it just doesn't sit right look <laughs> he looks like an elf thug yeah well, it's supposed to do this it has got a pom-pom on it's the got end a pom -pom. as well but it doesn't, if I put it sort of pom poms up and pop in my head, you can't see my face. So, so yeah, we'll just do the hood down. We'll just do the hood down. And but I'm still a cheeky little elf. We have a live scheduled for Friday. You really don't want to miss it. I'm not going to tell you why, but you really don't want to miss it. So if you can come, please do. It is scheduled. It is on my channel. If you click on it and set the notify button it will let you know when we go live because we have exciting things to show which will be a sneak peek of a video and also i am going to be wearing the best christmas jumper ever known to human civilization in my opinion it is so mantha you could cry anyway let's get on with these cards because we have one two three four five six seven eight nine in front of us and a little disclaimer Three of them got extremely soggy because on Monday it was rain, 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 rain. And we've got one of those post boxes that are uh, screwed into the wall because if you post mail through our letterbox, our dog will eat it. So we have one outside. The rain got in, yeah. made a swimming pool, and without knowing, three of our Christmas cards were in there swimming. Mm -hmm. So, so, so sorry. And hopefully they're not too water damaged. But it was a genuine mistake. So sorry. So Mike's going to have the first pick. Where are you going? You're going to go for that one? I am indeed. So cover the addresses but show the stamp. Mike's got big enough hands. He can do it with one hand. I can't. Beautiful stamp. And we think this is from Tennessee. Mm -hmm. But our state knowledge is very limited. And because it got wet and it's been taped we're not entirely sure but we're we believe sure. it might be tennessee so so let's have a gander and thank you everyone who's yes, taken part in the christmas card exchange it has been so much fun our postman's gone from never sending a card in the post to having quite a few now this one is very festive is it oh look at that and there's glitter in the there's snow there's glitter on the trees there's glitter in the it's everywhere to be fair look at the tree look Gorgeous. at the barn and look at the red festive tractor yeah. love it christmas at the farm oh it's stuck oh, i really don't want to break it because it's wet there we go <laughs> <laughs> so inside it says Jesus is the season. Reason. Reason. May the heart of Christmas, the love of Jesus, the joy of grace, and the peace of God be yours today and always. May all your dreams come true. Merry Christmas. From. From. Tina. Tina. Adventures of. With. More, with more, more. And, and then you've got Ka uh, then you've Taz got or Kaz. Kaz. And then there's little uh, paw prints and teeth marks. Which say courtesy of Ebony. And it says she's a mess. She's a mess. 
So, Tina, Thank you very much. Adventures with More More. She does have a channel here on YouTube. We will link her down in the description box. Any of these cards from content creators, we will put their links down below. Please do go and check them out, guys. They may, may be right up your street. They might be just your cup of tea. And they may be people that you're not yet aware of. How festive and cheerful would it be to chuck look. some yarn through their window and become a member of, member of their family the eh? the for Christmas. So That's thank you so much. And I love the fact that your pets, your fur babies got involved. That is just an extra special touch. And all of these cards, once they have finished being displayed, will go in my memento box and I will keep them forever. So, Tina, thank you so, so much. We really do appreciate yes, it. Yes, thank you very much. Let's just double check there's nothing else in there. Nope. Nope. Okay, so I'm going to go for this one because I believe I know who it's from, but I might be wrong. So I'm not going to say and be a ninny just in case. So there are the beautiful stamps. Can't really see them because water damage. So sorry. And ink smudging. But it is definitely from the United States. And it says Cleveland, Ohio. And one of my very good friends who i still fangirl over even to this day even though i have seen her backstage and in zoom plenty of times i'm still starstruck by her <laughs> is my beautiful friend lynette from charmed grammy so i believe that is who this is from apologies if it's not but i have a strong suspicion it is there's the front of the card guys so some Christmas puppies asleep. Let's have a look. Is it Lynette? Yeah, it's Lynette. It says, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Love you guys, Lynette. And Thank there's you. a little extra something, something that she snuck in. So let's... Oh, there's one for both of us, I think. This is definitely mine. Your favourite colour is purple, it is. but it's her favourite animal. Oh, okay. So, cool. mine, look, is a gorgeous pink diamond sparkly flamingo. If this camera will focus, might be giving me a little... Oh, sorry. There we go. There's my flamingo stitch marker. She is gorgeous on a lever back. And I have got... <laughs> you can see it it's fine it's a purple elephant because Lynette's favourite animal is an elephant and her favourite colour is purple and Mike's favourite colour is purple so he's got a purple elephant to remember Lynette always Again, on a lever back thank you very and much and I've got my beautiful beautiful flamingo thank you Lynette amazing. it's amazing and I'm so sorry your card got so wet and soggy <laughs> That's the UK for you. We are mostly rain, damp, moist, mm. <laughs> waterlogged. <laughs> right, so it's Mike's turn again. I know who that one's from. Because her address is on that. And we got the post stamp. This is from inside the, the UK. And it's from the UK. Turn it around. Can you remember who I said that was from? Dinky Craft Jen. Dinky Craft Jen. All the way from East Yorkshire. Oh. And on her return address label, there are two unicorns, which is just fabulous. But oh, I cannot yeah. show you. It's fine. But I cannot show you because... It's literally... It's literally on her address. And so it's, it's going to get ripped now. because It won't get ripped if you go along the top. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so go from this side. Yeah. But try and save the stamp. I'll save the stamp, don't you? <laughs> I'll save the stamp, guys. Oh, it's because any stickers and stamps that are on these cards <laughs> I tape to the inside of the card. Oh. We're already at nearly here. 15 minutes. Okay, right. So, we have this card. Happy Christmas wishes from Hull. From Hull. Hull is in Yorkshire, which is where Dinky Jen is from. And there's a little something extra for you. Ooh, thank and let, you. I'm going to read this out. Okay. Merry Christmas, Sam, Mike, Max, 
And kiddos. And kiddos. We talk about Max more than the others. Yeah, clearly. To be fair. Yeah. Here's hoping that you have a really merry Christmas day. One that gives you pleasure in each and every way. Merry Christmas. All the best from Jennifer Dinky Crafts. If you undo the purple bow at the back, you can display the flamingo all year round. There you go. It's a flamingo with a Christmas present, guys. And the card see? is amazing. Reindeer. How cute is that? It's a flamingo with a present in its beak. So you'll need a little bit of straightening out, which is not a problem. And the body of the flamingo is a heart. Isn't that so cute? And if you undo, like she said, the purple bow at the back, you can take the present off and the flamingo can be there anyway. But do you know what, Dinky Den? Christmas can happen all year round. So I'm not going to undo the bow and I'm going to display it with that gift in its beak all, all year, year round, round anyway. anyway. Yes. My goodness gracious. Now, Dinky Den, just a little bit of a side note, was a prolific knitter. And has been a prolific knitter for most of her life. She's only recently started dabbling in crochet. Well, I'm telling you, your crochet is fabulous. Keep going. Because I am super impressed. Absolutely love it. Pink's my favourite colour. Purple's Mike's favourite colour. It's a flamingo and it's got a present. What more could mount for one in a little keepsake? Thank you so much, Dinky Jen. That was such Thank a super you. cute little extra touch. I really appreciate it. So, all three cards that we have opened so far are YouTube content creators, so I will put their links in the description. And like I said, guys, please check my friends out and give them some yarny love. I would really appreciate it. Okay, who am I going for? I'm going to go for this one. Now, there are no fancy stamps, and all over the front is my address and the sender's address. So, I'm not going to show you the front of the envelope, but here's the back of the envelope. And this is from Julie, and Julie is a content creator as well. She is from KS Mum Crochets, absolute fabulous channel, another great friend of mine. Please do go and check her out. And this is the front of her card, a beautiful Christmas tree in the snow. Gorgeous. And inside... Oh, I don't think it's too personal, so I am going to read it for you. It says, wishing you a season filled with happiness and a new year bright with joy. Merry Christmas to you, Mike and family from Julie at KS Mum Crochets. And she put, I hope you both have a wonderful holiday season and that the new year is full of happiness and crochet goodness. Always enjoy your videos and seeing both of your creations. Oh, thank thank you, you, Julie. That's so lovely. I'm and Julie... Catcher. Julie put the year in for me, so I know what year she sent it, which is brilliant, because I do that anyway, so she saved me a job. And Julie's channel is so super lovely. And guys, if you haven't checked her out, you really need to, because she started doing vintage dresses for dolls from years gone by, and they are spectacular. She is also great at Amigurumi, dabbles in doing doilies with thread and all sorts. Honestly, she is well worth a look, so please do go and check her out. And Julie, thank you so, so much. Really, really love this. Right, so we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Which one would you like now, Mike? You would like that one. Again, no fancy stamps, just addresses over the front. And there's Another the back. Logged one, I'm yeah, afraid, sorry. sorry, this one got a bit drowned as well. What part of um so this one is California. Julie, I believe, is Kentucky. Yeah, Julie is Kentucky. You add Lynette in Ohio, you add Tina from Tennessee, and you add Dinky Jen here in the UK in Yorkshire. We're going all over the globe tonight, guys. Oh, this it's a homemade. Handmade. This looks handmade. Oh, 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 my goodness. We've got confetti explosions. <laughs> oh, because it got wet, it's ruined the decoration. Is the front okay? Or the other side okay? No, it came from that side. Oh, my goodness. I feel awful. It's very well made. It's very well made. Hang Who's on, it let from? let me get the confetti out. So this lady is a wonderful friend and supporter of the channel. I don't believe that she's got content, 
But she hand so made sorry. a card. I'm so sorry. Look at the water damage. But look at amazing work. And then if you turn it around, the colours bled to the back of the card, which means this beautiful decoration that was inside. I'm so sorry. The red from the card has gone on to the decoration. And wow, what a beautiful decoration. What a beautiful, made, beautifully made card. Yeah, so who's it from? So, the festive season. This. Right, this festive season, thinking of you. Thanks for all the fun on YouTube. You always brighten my day. Just say her first name. Marie. Marie. So oh, sorry. Marie, your card is exquisite. This beautiful decoration is exquisite. Amazing. And it got wet and the red went on to the white. I am so sorry. That is such tiny, tiny, tiny yarn, guys. Can you see that? And the beautiful gold edging. But do you know what, Marie? We We're are going to love, love it, anyway. it regardless. We are going to put this on our tree. If you don't mind, I'm going to crochet a little hanging loop to put here. And then we can put your beautiful snowflake or your beautiful star on our tree every year. And it will remind us every year to check the post as quickly as you can, especially if it's raining. <laughs> and our beautiful friend Marie handmade this for us. So you will be remembered every single Christmas from now on. Oh my goodness gracious. I feel awful. It's a lovely card. It's a beautiful and card. And a very well all, made decoration. All made by hand. Mm -hmm. So sorry we let it get So out. sorry. That's the bloody English weather for you. <laughs> Just another quick look. She had cut all those bits and pieces out and made it herself. Amazing. And if I cover her surname, because we don't want to give out her full name without permission. Even the writing inside. Which is what bled onto the... Is um, <sighs> raised. Thank you, Marie. Thank you very much. So sorry, but we love it anyway. We're going to keep it forever regardless. But wow, your crochet work is stunning. The fact that you use this tiny thread is incredible. Because these here are double crochets. Look how tiny those double crochets are, guys incredible absolutely incredible thank you so so much okay my turn so we got two from the uk and two from outside of the uk i'm gonna go for this one and show you the stamp sideways and upside down because i <laughs> haven't got big hands like mike <laughs> and this one we are going to put her link down in the description box. We're going to tell you don't subscribe, but we really mean go and subscribe. We are, of course, talking about Elaine, or as some of us know her as um, Pudding, <laughs> and she will know why we call her that. She loves Pudding. She's called Elaine. And in, oh, wow. she's so cute. Look at the angels. And they're glittery and sparkly. Look at the little toes on that one. And her halo's fallen. I think this might be a mount for Angel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, trying so hard to do what everyone else is doing, but doesn't quite get there. <laughs> so Sam, Mike and family, God bless you, love you, keep you at Christmas time and always love you guys. Elaine, also known as Put in, see, I wasn't making it up. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. What a gorgeous card. It's a Hallmark card. Oh, we're posh. We've Ooh. got a Hallmark card. Thank you so, so much, Elaine. Elaine does have content on her channel. She um, uploads whenever she can. And when she does upload, I really enjoy her videos and she needs to do it more often. We're telling people not to subscribe in a sarcastic way to get them to subscribe. So if you don't know Elaine, check her out. Chuck some yarn in her window. But don't tell Madonna that I'm actually telling you to subscribe to her because that's not what the joke is. 
Madonna, I'm sorry. But Elaine needs <laughs> Elaine needs family members. And it's Christmas, so I can break Christmas. the rules just this once for Christmas. So please go and check out our beautiful friend Elaine. And Elaine is from MA, is that Massachusetts? Or is it Maine? I should know because you're my friend. <laughs> but she lives in Springfield. And I asked her, is it the Springfield from The Simpsons? <laughs> and gave her a good giggle. <laughs> so there we go. There was Elaine's card. We've got three left. Mike's going for a dinky do. And it's from the UK. Our stamps are never as nice as your guys across the pond. Just saying. And there's no return address, so I don't actually know who this one is from. <laughs> it's a festive pig! <laughs> it's class. To Sam, Mike and the children. Happy Christmas. Love from Trudy and family. Congratulations on getting to 1K subscribers. So happy for you. Thank you, Thank Trudy. You very much. And I don't think Trudy has a channel. She's just a loyal friend and Yarny family member. But your card gave me a chuckle, as you saw. Absolutely love it. Right up my street for sense of humour. And uh, do you know what would have been better as if that pig was in a blanket? <laughs> But we've got a pig and a jumper, and that's absolutely fine. Wherever Christmas put it. Thank you, Trudy. Thank you for Thank joining you so in much. with the Christmas card exchange. We really, really appreciate it. This has been so much fun. And to have a little piece of mail from you all is wonderful to put in my memento box as well, because as the years go by, I'm sure it will get less, and it will be lovely to look back on. So we've got two left. One from the UK, one from the US. I better do a UK one because I don't think I've done a UK one tonight. So I'll leave the last US one for Mike. And there's no return address on this one. And this one's an even more UK stamp. That's the most UK stamp you can get. <laughs> <laughs> Which, these are now on a limited time scale because they'll be changing to King Charles stamps rather than Queen Elizabeth stamps soon enough. So there yes, we go. Oh, look. I would quite like one of those hot chocolates right about now. Mm, they look nice. Super yummy and tasty. So let's see who it's from. <gasps> it's our friend Lisa. Now, Lisa has gifted us Happy Mail before. She has gifted me two of these lovely yarns. And she has also gifted me some other wonderful Happy Mail. You can look back on my Happy Mail playlist and you will see what she has sent us. And I'm just going to read her note because there is a bit of a note and I don't want anything personal to be shared. So just bear with me one second. In fact, let me show you the card while I read. Oh. Okay, so I'm not going to share it all, but I am going to share a little bit of it. So Lisa does live here in the UK and she doesn't actually live that far away. I think she's about an hour and a half away from where we are. Mm -hmm. And um, Lisa is just wonderful. She has reached out and emailed me several times. Like I said, she's gifted me with Happy Mail and I have said to her um, on a couple of occasions <clears throat> that I am more than prepared to drive and meet up with her and take her out for the day and spend the day with her, maybe get some yarn shopping in, or even if I just sit with her having a cup of tea and crocheting for a couple of hours. Um, and she's put at the end of her card, have a great Christmas and New Year. Hopefully we can meet in the summer. So Lisa does want to meet up with me and I am more than happy to do that, Lisa. And if myself and Lisa do meet, if Lisa's happy to be part of video clips, then of course I will film it. If not, I will film me travelling up there and maybe a few of the sites while I'm up there. But I won't include Lisa unless she wants to be on camera. And I'm sure Lisa won't mind me saying that actually she lives in a nursing home, which is um, a residential home. Um, 
for people here in the UK. So um, she doesn't actually live with family. She lives with other residents and other friends within the home. Um, and she has disclosed that sometimes she does get a little bit lonely. So she finds watching us on YouTube a joy and she feels like she has genuine friends. And now that we have an email communication friendship going on, we are definitely friends, Lisa. And of course, I'm coming to see you in the summer. I just need to get some time off work and I will make it happen because it really won't take a lot of fuel to get there. It will be a lovely day out for me and it will be lovely to meet you and give you a big squishy mount for hug so thank you for all your support and friendship of our channel now lisa doesn't have a youtube channel she is just one of our gorgeous yarny friends and family but um we thank you so much lisa and a merry christmas to you too and thank you for the rest of your message it really does mean a lot thank you so much she does say oh, thank you um, that she's glad we made it to a thousand and long may it continue to grow in 2023. Mm, thank you very much. Thank you so much, Lisa. That's amazing. Oh, so cute. Well, last but not least. Last but not least, or as Julie says, last but never not least. And this is from Poughkeepsie in New York. Ooh. We have a friend in New York. How fabulous is this? Do you know what? It's on my bucket list to go to New York at Christmas. It really is. It used to be before I was 40, but I'm closer to 40 than that reality come, uh, that dream come into reality. So we'll just say at some point I would love to be in New York for Christmas. And this is a very fancy dancy card. Oh, wow. And it says handmade by the lady herself. Oh. Yes. Wow, another handmade so card. So this is from Teresa, and she made this card herself, it's very, guys. very, very. How amazing. So Teresa doesn't have content on her channel, but again, she is a wonderful subscriber and supporter, a member of our Yarny family. And she wanted to be a part of this Christmas card exchange. And wow, we what a beautiful card. I don't think it's too personal. Okay, can I read it? I don't know, I haven't read it all. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I apologise. Teresa does have a channel. I am so, so sorry. <laughs> Do you know what it is, guys? I know your channel names rather than your actual names and even if you tell me your actual name my memory is shocking for names isn't it it is so Teresa is actually yarn again so I will put Teresa's channel down in my description box I feel totally embarrassed now I am <laughs> so sorry Teresa but it's what you because you made the card as well now are your talents ever ending because you crochet and you make cards my goodness gracious amazing so yes it is yarn again i'm so sorry so I, am i reading it yes okay go I'm on reading then. It. and i hope you don't mind teresa dear sam mike and family may your holidays shine with moments of joy and laughter thank you for showing your tile journey with sharing. you sharing yeah Thanks. sharing your tile journey with youtube it is part of the week I'll, I I get to see you both. Nice to see the different challenges and outcomes. I I do enjoy your shows daily. With a with with a cup of coffee. Thank you again. You you bring, bring me joy. I can't read it. And. I feel less alone. I feel less alone. Oh. God bless, God bless you, all. you all. Teresa, Teresa, also known as Yarn, Yarn Again. Again. <laughs> Sorry. Mike struggles with cursive. A lot of podcasters that you may watch struggle with cursive. If it was printed, it would be absolutely fine. And also there is a little bit of shorthand. And I know a bit more shorthand than Mike does. So... That is the reason why he struggled a little bit. Your writing's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Yeah, I just never went to school. Um, and 
Yeah, it shows. <laughs> so I'm just going to read it again. It says, thank you for sharing your tile journey with YouTube. It is part of the week I get to see you both. Nice to see the different challenges and outcomes, and I enjoy your shows daily with a cup of coffee. Thank you again. You bring me joy, and I feel less alone. God bless you all, Teresa. Thank you very much. Okay. And sorry for hashing the reading of that. But do you know what? This is real, this is genuine, and this is showing that Mike really wanted to pass on Teresa's message, but he struggles with cursive. And that is not a problem. Not a problem at all, because... There are bigger podcasters than us that always say that they struggle with cursive. I know for a fact that Lama Ma Michaela struggles with cursive and I know that Bag of Day struggles with cursive. It's just what you're used to reading and what you're not. And you know what, guys? We're so technology based nowadays that if it's not printed off a laptop or a computer, we struggle with the people's gorgeous handwriting. And it is totally gorgeous. It is. And that card is just spectacular all of our cards have been spectacular so if we gather them all up and give you another look at all of them and we don't have to be afraid of addresses now because we've done away with that <laughs> how many more have we got oh my goodness are we going to be able to fit them all in well, i've got four five you got the other four look at that how lucky are we guys absolutely you can't see my face i'm grinning but you couldn't actually see me grinning look at that that is amazing so for one last time i am going to put everyone's channel links down in the description box for those that do have a channel thank you so much to each and every one of you who have sent a card both in this part of the christmas card exchange and the previous two parts it has just been such a fun festive activity for us all to do I have loved sending you cards from us and I have loved even more receiving cards from you. This is amazing. This is memories to last me a lifetime and I can never thank you enough. Mike knows what a soppy, son sentimental sod that I get. <laughs> so this means the absolute world. And the amazing crochet. Yes. And stitch, the, mark and stitch markers. And stitch markers and flamingo dangles yeah. and I even had a load of confetti. He had a confetti explosion which happened off camera. Which is There you go. Reindeers. Just to prove our like snowing confetti <laughs> and our beautiful stitch markers from Lynette. A Merry Thank Christmas to each and every one of you, not just the ones that sent us cards, but to all of you watching. There will be plenty more festive videos to come. We really appreciate people spending their time and money in sending us cards, but we appreciate you for watching and spending your time with us. Yes, also, a last apology for the water damage to yeah. some of the cards. So, so sorry, but that is the risk of sending mail to the UK because it's just so soggy here. Um yeah so thank you absolutely amazing i love each card equally it's just so fantastic i think we've had all of them from separate places there's not been any duplicates so far that i can think of no. so how wonderful and i do believe there's still more in the post making their way to us so we might be back with a part four you never know you never but know. until then stay safe be kind Look after one another. Get some good quality time in with your loved ones. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> You've thrown me off again. <laughs> <laughs> good quality time. I said that, and then you're supposed to say get some good quality crafting time in, but you said Merry Christmas. Yeah. We'll, we'll see, see you in the next, next one. one. Or around the YouTube streets. That's why when you change it up, I get all confused. Well, Look, I am a naughty elf. Naughty elf. See, elf on the shelf, <laughs> this one. I'm going to go put him on his shelf. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so, so much. Mwah. We love you very much. See you soon. Merry, Bye. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye.